Hello everyone, this is Trevor, and thank you for coming to my channel, Pioneer Spirit. I greatly appreciate everyone who has and is going to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, comments, watches my videos right till the very end, shares them. It's all greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, today's time. Topic. It's a topic that um, I've actually been debating people since uh, 2009. I started thinking about this the other day. So, uh, and to kind of go back on the history of EVs, electric vehicles. Now, I can remember in 2009, Chevy Volts. They, they were all the rage. They were all the rage. Everybody who's environmentally friendly that <clears throat> wants to get rid of the gas guzzlers were trading in the gas guzzlers for the Chevy Volt. So my um, questions back then and uh, still same questions today. I asked back then and I would just be, I would be met with, uh, you know, the deer in the headlights kind of thing. And I'd ask people, I'd say, okay, great, Chevy Volt, electric vehicles, wow, okay. Um, and just back then, I'd ask, uh, where does the electricity come from to power um, electric vehicles? Uh, you know, no, I said, well, it, it comes from, I'm going to say, sources like nuclear, you know, oil, you know, natural gases, coal, that's where electricity's coming from right so how is that any better <clears throat> to get um, an electric vehicle when you're still using fossil fuels and anyways it was met with a lot of confusion from people um, nobody wanted to debate me then nobody wants to debate me now and uh, I <laughs> I just keep asking the questions where do the where does the electricity come from Today, you know, it's almost 2024. Where does the electricity come from to power these vehicles? The electric vehicles, again, it's, <clears throat> it comes from coal, nuclear, oil, gas. Um, it sure ain't being pulled out of the sky. And it's definitely not coming from windmills and solar power and all of the, you know, whatever other green technology are out there. They're, they're not. And the factories that are being built in are not being powered by green technologies. It's all coal, nuclear, oil, gas, all that stuff. So that being said, the, the bigger point I want to make today, and now this is really something. So I've been thinking about all that you know, since 2009. I've been debating people on that. But the big question that I came up with last week, it almost like was an epiphany. So maybe someone has been thinking of this for a long time too, and and add to the comments below and let's discuss this. But for the longest time, so, you know, go back to 2009 at least, government has been pushing private citizens and private companies to produce EVs and, and got to get rid of the gas guzzlers, got to reduce the carbon emissions. It's all good. Okay. okay. But what I started thinking last week was, well, <clears throat> and I've scoured the internet, the interwebs for all these things. I cannot find anywhere other than maybe a few localized places, but it's not on mass or anything. But w will government comply with its own EV mandates <clears throat> that it, it it's mandating that private citizens and companies move away from gas powered vehicles to then they want us to to move into ev vehicles but how many government branches departments are transitioning into evs as well and we keep hearing about this 2030 2030 you know that's <clears throat> seems to be the day the day, sorry, the year that we're um, supposed to transition and everybody's, you know, household's supposed to have EVs. Okay, well, what about government? And I, I started thinking the other day, and you can add more to this. These are just branches of government 
that I'm thinking of that I've never heard really anything <clears throat> from these branches saying that they're going to transition to EVs. And, and I'll just name a few and, and you can sit here and think over the next few days or comment about other branches of government. But <clears throat> I haven't heard anything from the gov the military, police, sanitation, um, you know, fire and rescue, like hospitals, uh, schools, education. There's not one branch of government that's, that's, <clears throat> it's not like en masse blanketed across, you know, the UK, Canada, America of any of those institutions saying that they're going to convert all their gas vehicles to EVs. I cannot find <clears throat> any major a significant like no no um, state or provincial counties local cities towns whatever coming up with <clears throat> you know they're not saying hey we're transitioning to evs well i don't hear of any police stations saying well, we're getting rid of all our our uh, cruisers our gas powered cruisers now just to point out too something i thought of just earlier too i know where i live here in canada at one time the police thought it would be really good to get rid of uh, whether they're using, you know, uh, diesel or gas engines. And they converted <laughs> some of their cars to, I, I believe it was either propane or natural gas. And I believe that only lasted about a year or two. And then, you know, but I, I so I haven't, but other than that, like that, I haven't heard of any police stations converting other cars to EVs, uh, military, nothing there. Um, ambulance, school bus, sanitation, uh, anything, any government institution. I cannot think of en masse anything where they're converting. So it, it's, this is why I get, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm pissed because it's like, how hypocritical is it of politicians wielding the power of government onto the citizens saying, you, you, Joe Q citizen and Sally citizen, you have to get rid of your diesel vehicle, your gas powered vehicle and use an EV. <clears throat> That's what they're doing to us. They're trying to force us into you into getting rid of the gas powered. But yet politicians, governments and all the branches of government, I don't see anywhere where they're forcing Well, they're, they're not going to force themselves. But I don't know how, like, the, they're not coming out saying, oh, yeah, you know, this is great citizens, you know, you're going to have the EVs and companies were, were pushing you to get rid of your gas. And then, you know, <clears throat> and we're going to convert all our vehicles. I can't find anything. Can you? If you can find something, post them below, because I'd like to know where where massive amounts of governments are converting their vehicles by 2030. That's what they keep pushing. They keep saying the year 2030. <clears throat> you know. I have to forgive me here. I'm trying not to cough. I'm trying to just keep my voice uh, voice box wet there. Um, just getting over COVID as well, too. This is about my third round of COVID since it came out. Um, so I just got over it about two days ago. Anyway, so I just apologize here if I'm pausing every once in a while. I'll get a sip of water. I, I try not to cough during this. I don't like to pause it and whatnot. But um, okay, so that being said, can you can you find anywhere where government is going to convert all of their vehicles from gas to you know to to electric? I can't find anywhere. So. And this is something like I have start. I started talking with people the other day about this, and and a lot of people were in the same boat I am. They're like, "Yeah, it, it's like what? I can't believe no one has ever come up with this, and no one's ever thought about this." But yeah, where are all the politicians coming out <coughs> saying to uh, that they're going to convert all their vehicles? And again, you know, I'm just I just trying to think of the major. Um, institutions, the branches of government that, that use a lot of gas vehicles and are they going to convert military? Now I know people are like, oh, you can't, uh, what are you going to convert a tank to an electric vehicle? Well, hey, government's telling me I can't use my, my pickup truck or anything. They want me to get rid of it for an electric 
vehicle. Why can't the military? Are they going to start doing that? You know what? Politicians don't come out and say they're converting their 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 vehicles because they know it's they know it's not going to work. <coughs> They just know electric vehicles, but yet that 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 they're going to ram down our throats all these rules and regulations and mandates on private citizens and private companies to have electric vehicles. But meanwhile, politicians and all their the branches that they um that they run oh they're I don't know doesn't seem to be anything on them, is it? Can can you find anything? So that's it. That's my question of the day. Will government comply with its own EV mandates, rules, and regulations? Will they by 2030? Because uh, you and I have to, so shouldn't they? Okay, thanks very much, everybody. I'm going to end the show just about under 10 minutes here. My throat's getting a little too sore, but I appreciate everyone who's come out, watches my videos right till the very end. Thank you very much. It's all greatly appreciated. Have a good day. Bye-bye.